nice to see you again guys are you ready for our lesson for today but before that let me show you something with respect to this binomial okay we have here 3x minus 2 quantity square how do we usually expand that I know for sure you have an idea which is the file method we're going to multiply the first terms outer terms inner terms and then of course the last terms so um, obviously our answer is 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. What if the given is this one? Quantity 3x minus 2 raised to 3. Again, uh, we could come up with different methods. That is, of course, uh, it's either we're going to use FOIL method with the two binomial, and then, of course, the remaining binomial or the third binomial is to be multiplied, distributed with our answer. So our answer could be, 27x cubed minus 54x squared plus 36x minus 8. And what if, guys, we have here 3x minus 2 quantity raised to the power of 10? Oh my, how do we expand that? It is said to be time consuming and it is said to be um, just like with the emoticons with its expression, I know for sure the same expression we have. Okay, but of course, today with our lesson, finding any term of quantity x plus y raised to n. And our learning competency, we are going to determine any term of quantity x plus y raised to n where n is a positive integer without expanding. So take note, we are not to expand um, with respect to our given binomial. Okay, binomial theorem. What is that? is said to be the very quick way of expanding or multiplying out a binomial expression that has been raised to some generally inconveniently large power. Okay, we have here the working formula. A plus B quantity raised to N. This is being referred to our binomial. And of course, N there is being referred to our exponents. And of course, we are uh, given the summation uh, with respect to N and K where a there is being raised to n minus k and b there is being raised to k. Of course, as k goes from 0 to n, our n again is our exponent. It depends on the given exponent. Okay, what if guys, um, if n is a positive integer then, okay, there you have our format and take note of this. What if the given exponent there is said to be 10? A while ago in our first um, given slide okay our exponent is 10 how many terms do we have when once we are going to expand okay the concept there is um, the expansion of your a plus b raised to n contains n plus 1 term so meaning that simply we are going to add 1 so if that is raised to 10 therefore we have 11 terms what else the first term is a raised to n your first term your first term is has an exponent or the same true with the given exponent okay and of course the last term b raised to n so meaning the same exponent with respect to the last term so the first and the last have the same what highest exponent which is 10 if this is 10 this is a raised to 10 this is b raised to 10 what else the powers of a decrease by 1 for each term so therefore if this is 10 this becomes 9, this becomes 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, until we reach, reach 0. Okay, the same true with your second term, your b. It is said to be the power of b increased by 1. So you notice this is 1, 2, 3, and so on, until it reaches 10 also, which is here. Okay, and another concept for this binomial theorem is that the sum of the exponents of your a and b are always equals to n. So meaning if this is 10, once you add this one, the exponent is equals to 10. Once you add, that's equals to 10. Once you add, that's equals to 10. Well, let's try this one. You are asked for quantity x plus 3 raised to 4. Okay, once we expand that from our concepts a while ago, how many terms do we have when the exponent is 4? Yes, we have 5 terms once we expand this one. Okay, our first term is has exponent of 4. There you have. Our last term has exponent of 4. There you have also. And then, of course, the third concept, 
your first term with respect to variable x okay is said to be decreasing so 4 3 2 1 okay there you have on the other hand your second term is said to be increasing by 1 so 1 2 3 4 there you have also and of course the last concept is that the sum of your exponents should be always equals to your n if this is 4 okay you notice there that we have 3 plus 1 is 4 2 plus 2 is 4 1 plus 3 is 4 okay so once we simplify that there you have it and of course we would apply also this factorial okay as an example here is 3 factorial so meaning you multiply to itself then of course down um succeedingly uh, meaning if it's 3 factorial 3 times 2 times 1 okay and of course expand it further and as you simplify it further there you have guys as what we have told you while ago how many terms do we have once we have four as the exponent we have five terms one two three four five there you have it guys okay now what if you are asked for the specific term okay finding the specific term what is the fourth term in this given expansion of 3x minus 2 raised to the power of 10 we have this formula to be used okay nck applying our combination concept which is a raised to n minus k b raised to k and take note our n there is being referred to what our our exponent and of course our k if this is fourth term so meaning we just simply subtract one this is three so nc3 or therefore 10 c3 times 3 raised to x this is the first term a is being the first term b is the second term which is negative 2 then of course subtract okay and simplifying it further 10 c3 is 120 then of course 3 raised to 7 10 minus 3 is 7 so 3 raised to 7 is 2187 and then of course negative 2 raised to 3 is simply negative 8 Simpli simplifying it further uh, multiply the, the constants 120 times 2187 times negative 8 therefore we have negative 2,099,520 x raised to 7 okay now what if you are asked for the 11th term of the expansion 2a minus 2 raised to 12 take note you are not to expand it but specifically you are asked for the 11th term Okay, if it's an 11th term, the same formula we are going to use, NCK, quantity A raised to N minus K times B raised to K. Our N is 12, there you have it, and of course, K is, if that is 11, so minus 1, that's 10. So 12C10, there you have it. Okay, which is 66, and then of course, 2 squared is 4 negative 2 raised to 10 is 1024 simplify it further multiply your constants 66 times 4 times 1024 simply it's 270,336 a squared that is now our 11th term in our expression or expansion 2a minus 2 quantity raised to 12 now what if guys you are asked for the coefficient this time coefficient of your a raised to 4 in your expansion of a plus 2 raised to 6 our formula with that a raised to 4 okay is n factorial over r factorial times um, n minus r factorial times a raised to n minus r times b raised to r a while ago we have used n and k this time n and r which are just the same also Okay, we have here um, uh, for the n, which is the exponent, so that's why we have 6 factorial. And then, of course, if we are asked for the a raised to 4, how many remaining exponent do we have? If we have 6, therefore 2. So we have here 2 uh, square. So therefore, as our r, that's 2, so 2 factorial. Then, of course, this is a matter of substitution, 6 minus 2. There you have it. A is transparent for A. Then B there is 2. This is 2 squared. 
Again, now that we arrive, if this is raised to 4, take note that our exponent should have a summation of equals to our exponent. So if this is 4, therefore, I will make 86, it's 2. There you have it. Simplifying it further. Okay, 6 factorial over 2 factorial. Uh, 6 minus 2 is 4 factorial. Okay, so we have 6 factorial is 5 and 6 times 5 times 4. Okay, um, we're going to cancel out 4 factorial here. Okay, and then of course 2 and 6, we could cancel 2 and with respect to 6, but this time uh, we have remaining, oh, it's is 3. So simplify it further, 5 times 3. 15 times 4 is there you have it and then of course simplify it further 5 times 3 times 4 is 68 raised to 4 this is now the coefficient what is the coefficient therefore the coefficient of a raised to 4 is 60 okay so the same through a while ago we have just asked for the term but this time the coefficient okay what if this time you are asked for the two middle terms. What are the two middle terms of 2a plus 3 raised to 5? When you see two middle terms, how many terms do we have if we have the exponent of 5? So 5 plus 1 is simply 6. So 6. So if we say 6 terms, what are the two middle terms there? We have the third term and then we have the fourth term as our two middle terms. So let's try with our working formula. Let's start with the third term. So there you have it. So therefore, n is 5, and our r here is said to be, what, 3 also. I mean, uh, if that is 5, so 3 minus 5, 5 minus 3 here is 2. So r here is 2 factorial. There you have it. And then a is 2a raised to 3. There you have it. And then 3 squared is simply it's 9. Simplify it further. Uh, 5 factorial is said to be 5 times 4 times 3 okay times 2 times 1 but we stop here with 3 factorial in order with this to be cancelled out okay then 4 and 2 cancelled out also but 4 has a remaining factor which is 2 okay so simplify it further combine uh, multiply 2 times 5 times 8 times 9 okay there you have it and then final answer for the third term, which is 720a raised to 4. Okay, how about the other one that is said to be considered as the middle term? Okay, sub 4. So the same true also. So 4, uh, sub 4. Okay, we have 5 factorial. And of course, this time, um, 5 minus, minus, what they call this one, your r here is again it's 2 factorial okay, combining and simplifying it further okay, 5 times 4 times 3 again, we stop here with 3 factorial, cancel then of course 4 and 2 okay, and then of course the remaining here is 2 okay, so 2 times 5 times 4 times 27 okay, there you have it and our middle term another middle term, this is the fourth term is said to be 1080a squared okay so that is how do we how do we identify the terms it's either the coefficients or itself the term is being asked without fully expanding your binomial okay so hoping you have learned something and let's sum up our lesson when you say binomial theorem we have uh, known this one that this is said to be a um, a quick way or um, a shortcut way of expanding or multiplying out a binomial okay and of course when we expand the binomial uh, take note of our considerations that uh, the number of terms is said to be plus one with respect to the exponent what else your first term is always equals uh, with respect to the exponent is the same with the exponent given exponent together with the last term and of course, the power of A is said to be decreasing. The power of B is said to be increasing. And of course, your A and B, your first and second term, has always equal, when you get the sum of that, is equal to your N. Okay? So, um, 
guys that's our lesson for today and of course thank you again for listening and hoping you have learned something today uh, always remember handang isip handa bukas tara na ml na tayo and of course um, have a nice day guys and see you in our next lesson and don't forget again to continually subscribe and like our videos thank you guys